let's find out our African champion and uh, I mean the things she's done that actually made her today who she is. African champions. African champions. African champions. African champions. African champions. Our African champion for today is Stacey Abrams. Stacey Yvonne Abrams is an African-American politician, lawyer, voting rights activist and author who served in the Georgia House of Representatives from 2007 to 2017. A decade, great. Serving as minority leader from 2012 to 2017 as well. Now her works follows Dr. Martin Luther King's Jr.'s footsteps in the fight for equality before the law and for civil rights. Now, Stacey Abrams' efforts to complete King's work are crucial if the United States of America shall succeed in its efforts to create fraternity between all its peoples and a peaceful and just society. Now, he latest, I mean, talking about the fact that she didn't just come out of nowhere and is all about civil rights activism and everything, but started something that you know martin luther king started some years back and she is here to continue to to actualize the dream basically now she gained national attention in 2018 when she ran for governor of georgia she didn't win actually no she didn't win but she held on to her fire for equality, more specifically black voter equity, and continued her work as a voter rights activist. Now, the same year, she founded Fair Fight Action, an organization that strives to end voter suppression. Do you remember we talked about the fact that, I mean, slavery was abolished, okay, and people were given the legal permission, the mandates to go vote. But then sometimes you get threats. How would you even go out to vote? Sometimes your life is threatened. You don't even get a place. I mean, there are issues outside of the fact that you're free. You're free, but you're not free. Okay? So there are a lot of things that actually accounted for people feeling, yeah, on, on, on paper, you are free. But in reality, you're actually not. Okay? So she actually looked at that uh, through her organization, Fair Fight Action. Uh, this is an issue that has plagued uh, black and poor voters for decades and sought to invalidate their political voice. Now, due to Abrams' hard work in the Deep South, she was able, uh, she was able to turn the historically red state of Georgia blue during the 2020 presidential election. Now, she has uh, also helped raise awareness about the importance of voting in the Senate's runoffs in January 2021, which was... Uh, for control of Senate. Now, her work was not in vain uh, there either, as uh, the Democrats, got, I mean, it has to do with uh, John Ossoff, where she, you know, gave him a support and all of that. But the most important thing is her part and, you know, the, the, the role she played, trying to get people equity in terms of voting. You don't get suppressed because you're not a very important person in uh, uh, the society because you're coming from the minority group and all of that. Amazing, amazing. Now, she... Uh, actually got this very important prize that, I mean, it's something, it's not just the prize itself, but the fact that she has been recognized, right, uh, in that category and, and looking forward to actually winning the prize. It's all about the nomination uh, she had for the Nobel Peace Prize. And that is absolutely a game changer. Trust me. It is a game changer to be recognized for such a prestige award scheme. Nobel Peace Prize is a game changer. You're a potential winner, General, because not everybody can win. A lot of, I mean, a lot of people that actually get this particular honor to be a part of, you know, those who have been chosen or selected to to earn this award. It's like all of you are qualified, but we sometimes just need to look at it a bit further. But she is our African champion for today, Stacey Abrams. You are an African champion. Log on to africaglobalradio.com for more African champions on the African champion section.